Hello everybody, I'm Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment and today we're going to go over docking on your interface in GIMP 2.0. This is very simple. I had trouble, I'd lose a tab. I would exit out of my one of these tabs before I knew how to dock instead of using the main um, exit out of GIMP right here, uh, exiting out here. So how to recover that is very simple. If I accidentally exit out of here and say, where did that go? And we'll go ahead and do this one too and say, why isn't GIMP exiting out? Oh, I got to use this one. And then you exit out of this one. You go to load GIMP again. Uh, as you see, the tabs that I X out on didn't show up on GIMP whenever I reloaded it. And this is a very simple fix. All you have to do is come up here to the toolbar up the windows. You can either come down here and say recently closed docks and add the, add the old panels that you X'd out on, or come down and add a new toolbar, the one tab on the left. As you can see, what well, distorted it to the default setting, but you can change it by expanding it or contracting it however you want. As you can see, any of these tabs, you can do that. You can make it smaller, whatever. And you can move these tabs any, around any way you want to and set them up in any way you want. Same way up here. These right here are what I added over here. See, the, I can come over here and get rid of this right here, open path, open the paths dialog, and I can come over here and remove that. I can come over to one of these tabs that I, I've added whenever I've worked with GIMP before, and say we want to use this dynamics right here. The dynamics editor. I want to get rid of that. Just go ahead and if you click on them, see, this is the brush. If I click on that one, dynamics, and you come over to this little arrow right here and left click on it. And the paint dynamics editor menu, which I clicked on right here, right above it. All you have to do is come down here and say close tabs and it just closed that. Same way if I want to close this one. Open the undo history dialog. I'm going to highlight that and I want to get rid of it. So okay, I'm going to come over here to this little arrow again, left click on that, come down and get rid of it. Say, hey, I want that back. I wanted that back. So you come back up to Windows, come down to dockable dialogs, and right here is all your dockable dialogs that you could put anywhere you want. If I wanted to add that back over here, I just come over to this little arrow again, and I would can come down to add a tab and come back down here and do history. And you can add all these tabs that you want to, to this right here's brushes. I could add that one. You know, I could just keep on adding all these brushes if I want to. So if I want to get rid of them again, of course, like I said, just come back over to whatever one you want. Want to get rid of that one? The selection editor menu, just get rid of it. Just come down here and close the tab. Come back here and you can add a tab. Come down to the selection editor. Right here it is. Now, if you want to add a separate window, because we added this to the the selection tab over here. But if we wanted to add like this toolbox, a separate window from here, we just come back up to windows up here instead of over on this tab to add to this tab, we could come up to windows and add a separate tab. Come down here and say, we want to put uh, navigation on there. See it, it added navigation here and there is another tab. And if you wanted to add more tabs to the navigation, come to this arrow, add a tab, add channels and so on. You can come on here, add a tab, histogram. As you can see, I'm adding, adding, adding more, but we'll go ahead and get rid of that. So you say, okay, I got enough tabs on here. What can I do to keep this from being, whenever I close out, being single tabs instead of one? That's very simple. If I want to, I would expand my window and set my tabs up where I want to. The size of it if I can get it there there we go so I want to make this whole toolbar down the side of this side here and we'll, we'll move it out a little bit same way with this one I mean you can do it any way you want but uh, I'm just using this as an example and I'll do that like that now I got two tabs here that I want to uh, when I close out window or close out GIMP that whenever I open it again, it will show up this way. All you have to do is come up to Windows and sing, uh, click on Single Window Mode. 
Now you say, oh, well, it changed it. All you have to do is adjust it again. All you have to do is pull it out, see? It's not a big deal. You can adjust it again. If you want to release it and adjust it again, just come up here and click it again, and there you can move it again. So this is a very simple process in GIMP once you learn. This is one of the best free programs you can get, I think, anyways. I mean, it's not Photoshop, but I guarantee you, you can do a lot of work with Photoshop, and you could almost do the same work with this as Photoshop. I mean, you're a little bit more limited here, but not as many options. But if you have the talent, you can uh, do whatever you want on GIMP, basically. And you don't have to be an expert artist to use it. But anyway, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Again, this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment signing off.